Hello, Asta here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another video using Riviera palette and um, this one here, this gorgeous palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's my fifth look. So I just want to show you that you can use this palette not only to create like all the bright and crazy festival looks but also something for every day or just ordinary night out. So um, this is the look here and if you want to see how I achieved it just keep on watching. I have my face on today and my eyebrows done so I'm gonna go straight into doing my eyes and for that today I will be using my new um, Urban Decay primer eyeshadow primer and um, this one's called Caffeine I think I've seen few of youtubers using it and it was absolutely gorgeous so I'll give it a go today and we'll see how we're gonna get on so I'm just gonna apply that onto my lids It's like a nice mustardy color and it's a perfect base for all the kind of brownish um, eyeshadows. So I'm just using a flat synthetic brush to just blend it out. I'm not going too high up into my crease, just literally where my crease starts. I'm just stopping as well and I'm tapping that on rather than swiping. So I just want to that product to just kind of try it down. So next thing, I'm gonna apply my eyeshadows. So I'm starting with my palette again, the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I will be taking um, this one here, and it's called Coastline. I'm using the brush that comes with the palette. So I'm gonna slightly just blend the top edges of my coffee and primer, just to create the transition from the primer to my upper crease. So now that I'm happy with my transition, I'm just taking color palm from the palette. It's the nice brown color. It's the one that I said it's hard to blend. And I'm going to use that today again. And I'm taking a smaller brush today. I'm taking MAC 221. I'm dipping that into the palm color and I'm tapping the excess off and starting at the outer edge. And literally just gently applying that onto my outer lid. Just repeating the same step on the other side. So just placing the color on the outer part of my lid and blending it out. It looks a bit crazy right now, but hopefully now it will turn into a nice eyeshadow look. So I'm now gonna go in with a bigger brush. This one's MAC 224 and I'm just dipping into the same brown color and just... Woo! Okay, I didn't want to put this here. Oops. Okay, so now I'm using bigger brush and same color and just lightly diffusing the color outwards towards my brow bone. So starting at the outer part and slightly, very gently extending it out towards the brow. Or the tail of the brow. So I just want to create this cat eye look on the outer part but I want it to be very um, soft and subtle. Then going back to the same first brush I've used, the fluffy one and the color coastline, this transition shade, and just running over the edges, just to make sure it is blended out. And then I'm doing the same step again. So I will be at the same step for a few times just to get the intensity and the blending going on. So starting again at the outer edge and then when there's literally nothing on my brush, just extending it out towards my brow tail. As you can see, I'm starting to get this nice cat eye um, shape, but it just takes time to just really build the color. 
So next I'm taking my Morphe M507 brush, which is a smaller blending brush and dipping into the same brown color again into palm and then now I'm going to work in the corners of my eyes and just doing the same, dabbing the color in the inner part of my eye this time. So literally just wiggling the brush up and down and a little bit to the side just to place the color first and taking some more for the other eye placing the color and wiggling up and down and a little bit to the side towards the lash line and then whatever is left I'm literally connecting to the top there Okay, let's go back to the previous or the first brush I've used and just run over the edges just to make sure everything is blended together. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much happy how the eyes look. I will probably go back later on to just darken it up in, if I need to. And um, for now I will be using a color called Yacht and um, this is a color I never used before. It's a kind of nice goldy shade, it's like a goldy bronzy shade and I will apply this with my finger um, onto my eyelids and we'll see how this is going to work out. So literally where I left the space free of product I'm just dabbing it on with my finger. So by using my finger as well I get better color payoff than using the brush. So once I place this product with my finger, I'm gonna take a little brush and just create the transition where I need to. So it just doesn't look that it just sits there on its own in the center of my eyelid. And I think I want to add a little bit more pop of color. So I will be taking this color here, which is Inheritance, um, which is a kind of brighter gold, pure gold color. So I'm gonna use the same little brush I've used to blend out the other gold and I'm gonna tap that on. Just literally in the center on the lower part of my lid. I'm not gonna go too high up because I have gold there already. So I will be spritzing a little bit of um, fixing spray onto the brush just to dampen that and I'm dipping into inheritance now and applying that again onto the lid. So this um, step will make my color more intense and more sparkly. It's time to do the bottom of the eyes. So I will be using Morphe M506, a uh, 507, sorry, because it's a smaller one. So I'm just dipping into coastline first and applying that underneath my eyes so this is the transition so literally what we have created on the top we are creating on the bottom so next i'm taking the zoeva smudger brush and it's a dense brush and i will be dipping into palm color and applying that underneath with my lower lash line And then I'm taking smaller brush again. Uh, this one is from Sigma, the shader brush, um, and this will help me to get into my inner part of my eyes better. So just taking palm and shading the inner part of my eye near tear duct. And I'm taking some more inheritance and just dabbing that here. Just to add a little pop of color in the center. So next I'm taking my Inglot gel liner. It's the color 9090. It's a dark brown and I will be applying that into my waterline. So just placing this brown gel liner into my waterline. Next up is to apply mascara. Um, so for lashes today I'm using my baby doll lashes and it's the 3D silk lashes and it's a style 730. I love how they feel, they're super light and 
um, you can't really feel that you have big lash on. How about the difference eyelashes make like wow so now i just want to do a little highlight under my brow and i'm using the white color called sales and just lightly going above the transition shade and now it's time to do bottom lashes So this is pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just going to add a little bit more highlighter on my face. I'm using Champagne Pop um, highlighter from Becca Cosmetics and a Rebeluna brush, um, this one here. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the highlighter on my high spots of my cheeks. It just comes out so lovely. You can see this glow. Okay, so the last thing to do is the lips. So first I'm using my lip pencil and this one is MAC called Stone. Um, I'm gonna outline my lips and leave the center of my lips free of color. Same thing as with the eyes. So I'm gonna overline my lips a little bit just to, just to have a bigger lip. So now using the same um, pencil, I'm just gonna fill in the outer parts of my lips first. And today I will be using Charlotte Tilbury and this is called um, Very Victoria. Again, I'm concentrating this color on the outer parts of my lips. The space I left in the center of my lips, I'm going to fill with Inglot Jennifer Lopez Golden Lips Lip Gloss. So here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the other four as well. If you haven't seen the other four that I created using Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette, you can always find it in my playlist that I specifically created for Riviera palette. Um, so you'll find the whole five videos there. And yes, thank you so much for watching again. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. That would be a big help. And also please subscribe if you want to see future videos and I'm sure we'll be doing many more of them using different palettes now because I think I will be kind of leaving this to rest for now. Um, so yeah, thanks very much and I'll talk to you next time.